The simplest form in geometry is the point. The point has a very special definition. First, it has no dimension. In other words, you cannot measure a point. So secondly, if you cannot measure a point, why do we need a point? A point is needed because it gives location. Therefore, a point is defined as a figure having no dimensions that shows location only. For example, by this definition the earth could be a point, and so could a grain of salt. Size is not important, only location. The next definition we'll cover is the line. If the point has no dimension, then how many dimensions does a line have? Because the simplest line is made from two points, then a line has one dimension only. A line, of course, could have more than two points. Points that make up a straight line are said to be collinear, which means that they are part of the same line. Now to the plane. A plane is a two-dimensional figure because it has width and it has length. In other words, it is flat, with zero thickness. For example, two lines in space do not have to meet because they may be on different planes. But two lines on the same plane must meet at one point, unless they are parallel. These are the little things you have to remember in geometry. If two planes meet, of course, a line is formed. Because this course is mostly about plane geometry, most of the work will be done on one plane, except when we talk about volume. Volume, of course, brings up the additional dimension to make it three dimensions, space. Let's review what has been said so far. This is a point. Connect the point to another point and you get a line. Now, if we add a plane, the line is on the plane and another line could intercept it if it is not parallel. You add another point on the same line and we call the points collinear. If you place another plane not parallel to the first plane, the planes would eventually intercept and form a line. Now let's introduce the coplanar point. This point, as you can see, is not collinear. So we now have coplanar points and a triangle is formed on the plane. Now we come up with another point that is not coplanar and three more planes are formed. So now we are working with four planes. We can keep adding planes as more three-dimensional figures are formed. 